Today, we will talk about the Law of One Price. The law of one price states that the price of an identical asset or commodity will have the same price globally, regardless of location, when certain factors are considered. It takes into account a frictionless market without transaction costs, transportation costs, or legal restrictions, and where currency exchange rates are the same. This concept exists because differences between asset prices in different locations would eventually be eliminated due to the arbitrage opportunity. The law of one price is the foundation of purchasing power parity, which states that the value of two currencies is equal when a basket of identical goods is priced the same in both countries. In reality, purchasing power parity is difficult to achieve due to various trading costs and market access limitations. However, the formula for purchasing power parity can be useful to compare prices across markets that trade in different currencies, as it can identify mispricings across international markets. For example, if an identical security is priced at $10 in market A and $20 in market B, investors could purchase the security in market A and sell it in market B for a profit without risk. This would lead to price changes in both markets due to changes in supply and demand, eventually balancing the price of the security in the two markets. This example illustrates how arbitrage opportunities can lead to the balancing of prices across markets, as suggested by the law of one price. In the real world, the assumptions built into the law of one price frequently do not hold, and persistent differentials in prices for many goods and assets can be observed. Factors such as transportation costs, transaction costs, legal restrictions, and market structure can lead to violations of the law of one price, resulting in different prices for the same goods or assets in different markets. Here are three key takeaways. One. The law of one price states that in the absence of friction between global markets, the price for any asset will be the same. 2. The law of one price is achieved by eliminating price differences through arbitrage opportunities between markets. 3. Market equilibrium forces would eventually converge the price of the asset. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.